anime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, let me set the story straight, okay? I do enjoy anime. I've been watching anime since I was a kid. My first anime was like Speed Racer when I was 12. I ironically enough, introduced to me by one of my parents, who I'm positive didn't realize would lead to me watching big titty Japanese cartoons in my 20s. But nowadays, I actively avoid anime. And almost every time I get back into watching it, I regret it. Okay, so quick story. About two months ago, my friend Vops told me to check out this anime she was obsessed with. And you know, I wasn't exactly too hung up on checking it out because you know, like the, the title of the video, but she would go on about it incessantly. And I figured the best way to get her to shut the fuck up, and I figured the best way to understand how she felt was to watch it myself. So I won't say the name of the anime yet, uh, but I, I promise it like wasn't anything nasty. Well, all right, I'm just gonna start. But anyways, I started it and let's just say, I understood why she wouldn't shut the fuck. I understood why she felt so strong about the show. Yo, I had never been enthralled in something like I was this show. The story, the characters, everything was fantastic. I watched it day and night, dog. I was skipping classes to watch the show, uh, canceling plans, ignoring homework. I missed a four page paper to finish an arc, dog. And I'm pretty positive I ended up failing that class. And I did not care. I was so invested, always anxiously waiting for the next part to come. And then they stopped coming because I finished the show. Now, I'm going to pause right here to explain to you a little experiment I conducted uh, while, while watching this show. See, each day while watching the show, I decided to track my emotional dependency on it. Basically, how much I needed to watch the show to feel whole. So if I put a one, it means I wasn't really emotionally involved with the show. I didn't really care. And a 10 being I need this show to breathe. All right. So for day one, it was a two. So nothing, nothing crazy. And then the holy <laughs> shit, I immediately jumped from a two to a 10, like for the bed See, there's this thing called parasocial relationships, which is essentially forming a relationship with someone who isn't real. And when you can't see these characters in new situations anymore, they are in a form dead and which in turn if you have a soul makes you sad and like statistically it does like back in 2008 there was a study conducted amongst college students ages 18 to 33 and it assessed how much their favorite shows being off air during the current writer strike affected them emotionally and typically like on a scale of one to five they averaged about a two to a 2.5 which isn't crazy you know i i feel the same like for regular TV shows. But for some reason, whenever I finish an anime, it's a little bit more like a... <laughs> and that is exactly how your boy felt after finishing the show I was watching. I didn't want to do anything. I was in a different mental place and it threw off my entire week and emotional state. And do y'all want to know what this anime was? Anime that had me under so bad, I could not sleep the night I finished it. It was a playthrough of Persona 5. It wasn't even a full anime. It was a playthrough of a game that, that was made in an anime style. And that's why I watched it in the first place, because I figured, hey, it's not the same. This won't affect me like an actual uh, anime. Like, it's fine. And see, ladies and gentlemen, that is why I hate watching anime, because it makes me feel and that's not something I'm particularly used to doing. I end up missing the characters and feeling genuinely emotionally distressed every time. I, I don't I don't know why. <laughs> I think I have a problem with emotional dependency, guys. And I know I'm screwed because I just started watching Darling in the Franks. Um, so this this doesn't bode well. So uh, see you guys after I get over my mental breakdown from finishing that show. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's up, y'all? All right, so I'ma need y'all to let me know. In the comments section, do you guys get the same feeling? Or, or is that just me? I, I don't know. Also, thank you for all the fan art, because you guys deserve some credit for doing this beautiful stuff. And that's really about it. Um, Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Peace.